Our final Record Store Day stop is Everyday Music on Capitol Hill. Started in Portland in 1995, Everyday Music now has five locations and offers a wide inventory in all genres with hundreds of new titles arriving daily. The store vibe is low-tech and user-friendly with sample before you buy listening stations and a smart music-loving staff to help you find the treasures you seek and the hidden gems you didn't know you were looking for. Oh, my we asked store co-manager Hans Flegel, who is also a DJ at KEXP, to describe everyday music in one word. I would say eclectic. And to name his top five live albums of all time. So the first live record I chose was Johnny Cash, Live at Folsom Prison, recording from 1968. It's a great recording, backed up by June Carter, Statler Brothers. Great, great stuff. And next, I chose Aretha Franklin's Live at Fillmore West. Great performance, great backing band. Some amazing covers on this one as well. Definitely playing to the hippies on the West Coast, playing some Stephen Stills, playing some Beatles. Also a great, great cover of Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Waters. And next, The Who Live at Leeds recorded on uh, Valentine's Day in 1970. Amazing concert, just great, great sound. 14, 15 minute ver version of my generation. Just necessary album. And next, Otis Redding and Jimi Hendrix split live at Monterey Pop Fest. Uh, it was the performance where Jimi Hendrix set fire to his guitar. It was an incredible live performance. Amazing festival to kick off the Summer of Love in 1967. The last record I chose was Swiss Movement by Les McCann and Eddie Harris. Incredible live jazz record. Definitely my favorite live jazz record. It opens up with an incredible version of the song, Compared to What? Well, thanks, Hans, and our band here at Everyday Music Travel all the way from Everett, Tellers. Hello, Tellers. Hey. Hi. This is Sarah Feinberg on guitar and insane vocals. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, but Thank let's uh, meet uh, the band, it's starting right over here. Okay. Uh, behind me is Brad Haney, and he plays uh, keys. He plays a piano and an organ on stage electric. Right on. And he sings. Cool. And he's a songwriter as well, I guess. Lots of things. And this guy here? He's our bass player. This is Isaac Mellum. Hi, Isaac. Good to see you. And Mr. Shades? We got Stephen Barcy on drums back there. And Tyler Chisholm playing lead guitar. Right on. Well, it's so good to have you guys here all the way from, from Everett. Um, now, I heard about you from your PR guy, Ever Kip, uh, Tiny Human Media. He sent me a link to your uh, debut LP that just came out, Shook. I listened to it, and I immediately got back and said, this, they're great. Just, just a great sound, and I freaked out on your voice completely. Thank you. Your voice, I mean, I know voices are instruments. Yeah. Yours in particular that, so. is extremely, very unique. Thank you. Um, and so you, you and Brad write most of the music. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And how do you start? Do you start with lyric? Do you start with melody? How do, how do you write a song? Um, I start with usually the lyric and the melody of the song come to me at the same time. So ah. I'll just hear it kind of as one piece of a song and then I if I like it and I'm thinking about kind of the subject matter a lot and I feel like I have uh, more to say about it I'll kind of sit down and and, and write the whole Jot song it down and then yeah. you bring it to the band and then they yeah. flush it out yep from that point yep well the uh, the album shook it's a terrific album I know you're gonna play us a cut off of this uh, record and what are you playing for us we're playing hollow today hollow is what you're gonna play yeah. are, are you ready to do this thing yep. all right ladies and gentlemen tellers Did you? 